Hey YouTube, it's me, and today I'm coming to you with a long, oh I am really sad because I have been <laughs> contemplating these ideas for this video for almost two years, so maybe a year and a half, and I'm just not getting around to doing it. That's probably because I have time, I'm on maternity leave still, but that's about to come to an end, sad. And so I said, let me go ahead and pump out these two videos about credit, which I should have been doing since... I, I did the original credit video in 2016, so I said, let me go ahead and pump out this video. The first video I wanted to do is I wanted to talk about how I got my husband's credit score to go up 20, 20 points. So, if you want to see a little bit about that, stay tuned. Alright, so like I said, I did my original credit video back in 2016, April 2016, and the I will link the video uh, somewhere either in a card or down below in the description bar on YouTube uh, Somewhere around here, but I did an original credit video in 2016 and I got a, a response that I wasn't really um, I wasn't really I, I, I wasn't aware that people were that interested or really cared that much about that credit or people really wanted to know so I want to come back and do a couple more videos about credit some things that I've learned so far and um, this first video, I want to talk about how I got my husband's credit score up up 20 points. So, if you watched that previous video, um, I talked about something that I wanted to try out and I wanted to do uh, to see if it really works because one of my friends told me they did it. Um, they actually paid somebody to do it and it didn't work for them, but I wanted to try to see whether or not it worked for me and we tried it with my husband and it actually works. So... Um, in that video, I talked about um, that I have a credit card that I've been having for uh, some time now. So basically, the way it works is if you put, you make someone an authorized user on one of your credit cards, then they will gain your credit history on their credit report. And um, I've known people to do it, but I don't. I don't really know anybody that was really successful at it. So that's what I wanted to. I talked about in that video wanting to give it a try with uh, someone to see if it was successful, and we were successful. So I have a credit card that now. If you're thinking about doing this, or if you're thinking about having someone to do to do it for somebody, or if you're thinking about having someone do it for you, you know there are a couple of things that you need to make sure first. Make sure that if you're going to put someone on as an authorized user on a credit card that is a credit card in good standing. You want to do it with a credit card that you have no missed payments on. You want to do a credit card that has a long payment history, a uh, revolving credit card, so such as something similar like a Capital One or a Discover or American Express, something like that. And um, make sure that you have, if you, you know, you're not, you're net, you have never been late on the card, or if it has it's been past seven years. So I have a credit card that I, my, actually my very first credit card that I ever have, ever signed up for, I still have that credit card. So that particular credit card has 20 years of credit history on it. And if you study your study, if you know the pie chart, um, the most, one of the most important things that is well one of the most the most important thing is payment history but the other one is the length of credit history and so we decided to try and I put him as an authorized user on um, one of my most prestigious credit cards the one I've had the longest the one that I don't have no payment problems on I don't even use the card to be honest with you um, it has it's in great standing and everything and we so we decided to put him on that credit card as an authorized user um, at instantly the by the very next week his credit went up 20 points now he already had great credit now that's one thing that we are very very adamant about <clears throat> is maintaining our credit he cares a lot about his credit I care a lot about your about my credit that's why it's so important to marry someone that you are equally yoked with and when I tell you him and I are like like we could sit down and talk about credit for hours because we are just, oh, he was made for me. And so um, when we thought about this, it was like, okay, let's, let's try it. And we tried it and his credit score went up 20 points. So, I mean, he is now, 
I think it went up high to the highest he has ever, ever had it. I think, yeah. And so now he's just content, continually soaring. So as long as I leave him on there as an authorized user, his credit card will remain. Now, the moment someone takes you off and that credit, all that, so all of my history for that credit card went onto his credit report. And as the minute I take him off, it'll all come off. So the credit card will jump again. But as long as I leave him on there, he'll be good. So I know a lot of people that charge to do that. Um, I don't know if that's against the law to put someone, you know, to charge people to put, put them as an authorized user, but a lot of credit cards though, they, they want you to do it. They want people to, do you have, you know, when I went to call, when I called to add him on there, like, do you have anybody else you, you know, you feel free to call and add anybody because they want to give you the opportunity to be able to spin, 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 spin. Um, the next thing is once you add an authorized user, they're going to send that person a credit card. I would not give that person a credit card. Now we're talking about my husband here. So we in you know, the same household, everything like that. But if you're going to do it for somebody, or if you're thinking about doing it or asking somebody, you do not need to hold a credit card. You do not need to use a credit card. As long as the person has great history and great credit, um, great credit, credit history, great payment history on there you are good to go. So I hope this video helped out somebody and no, before somebody asks, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna ask you, add you to authorized user, no, let me see, no Jamal, no Keem, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, that's my brothers, but um, yeah, if you're gonna do it, so if you have any questions about it, leave all your comments below. Like I said, it was instantaneously, within the week, his credit score jumped up 20 points, um and it worked it really really worked so the very next video i'm going to talk about how i got my credit score to 850 so if you want to see i'm going to go through line by line like we're going to say okay so my payment history is here and this is what this is what it takes to get your 850 credit score this is what it takes to maintain that and this is what it takes for debt to income ratio and this is what it takes for credit inquiry we're going to go through that video next so if you want to see that i will load that up next but yes guys if you have any questions about this please leave your comments below i hope you learned something you have any credit questions i'm here for you thanks for watching